destruction of SEM images. We are thrilled to have you all with us today. In today's webinar, we'll be diving into the fascinating world of scanning electron microscopy image analysis, and we'll be showing you how to take it to the next level with 3D reconstruction techniques. So we all know SEM is fields of science and research, such as material science, biology, and that. But adding that third dimension brings a whole new perspective to understanding surface details and microstructures. So before we get started, just a quick reminder, we do encourage you to ask questions throughout the presentation, so feel free to drop them into the chat and you'll receive an answer from our experts after the end of the webinar. Now it's my pleasure to introduce our speaker today. Benoit is our Product Manager for SEM Applications and our expert in SEM technology. He has an extensive experience working with SEM image analysis and 3D reconstruction and so he's going to share his insights on how you can use these techniques to enhance your research. So without further ado, over to Benoit for today's presentation. Hello, I'm Benoit, Product Manager for SEM Application here at DigitalServe and I'm really happy to present you this webinar on 3D reconstruction from SEM images today. Before we get started, I'd like to clarify a point. When we're talking about 3D reconstruction in this webinar, we're not referring to volume techniques like dual beam, for instance, but instead we're talking about creating height map from 2D images. Stereoscopic reconstruction is a technique to create height map from two images taken at slightly different angles. This is a computer vision technique that is widely used in many fields like, for instance, cartography or robotics. In electron microscopy, we use the tip stage to create those two images at slightly different angles and then perform our 3D reconstruction. This shift helps us to figure out how close from the detector the objects are. If the objects are close from the detector, the disparity will be greater. And instead, if they are farther from the detector, the disparity will be smaller. In stereoscopic reconstruction, disparity refers to how much objects appear to shift between the two images. This helps create of what we're looking at. 